welcome to the Pigtown Cooking Demo Series in association with the Local Enterprise Office. In the wonderful Limerick Milk Market. Morning, Wade, thank you for joining us. We're here at the Milk Market for the Pigtown Culture and Food Series Cooking Demos. And I can see you have an array of Limerick produce here, Wade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, look, it's, 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 it's a dish that I came up with last week, actually, la last minute, um, when we were doing the 061 dinner. So I tried to get as many Limerick produce as I could in, in one dish. So we have, what I'm going to do for you today um, is a very simple, it's mushrooms on toast, but I'm going to do it with a, a little bit of my twist. So we have some beautiful um, rice sourdough from Novax. I have a selection of different suppliers actually of mushrooms. Some, I'm not telling you where they come from because they're foraged and I know you'll go there. But I have some beautiful chanterelles, um, uh, some beautiful oyster mushrooms. So I have Ballyhora, I have gore, gourmet mushrooms. Um, I'm going to do it with a, a, a soft, cream free range egg. I have some beautiful um, butter from Glen Stahl that I've made into a garlic and herb butter. Nice. So I have a few little different twists and I've got Love some lovely microgreens from Adair microgreens as well. So um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do for you today. Yeah. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the beautiful Limerick Milk Market for the Pig Town Food and Culture Series. Today I'm going to do for you some mushrooms on toast, but a little bit of my own twist. So I have some beautiful Limerick produce here that I'll talk you through. But I'm, I'm going to start off by making my toast. So I have some lovely Novak uh, from Kilmallock uh, rye bread. Um, so I'm just going to toast that off and then we'll talk through a bit of the other ingredients as we go through it. So I want to get a little bit of, this is a lovely um, Glenstall butter that I've made into with a roasted garlic and herb butter. So um, whipped it up, get it nice and foamy. And um, I'm just gonna make my toast and I'll talk you through these as well. So I have some fantastic foraged, a mix of foraged and cultivated mushrooms, all from the Limerick area. Uh, and some of them available here in the milk market. So I have some um, Ballyhora mushrooms, King, Ballyhora King oysters, some oyster mushrooms from uh, Gourmet mushrooms in Limerick, and these are foraged, and I'm not telling you where I got them from, because I know Tom Flavin will be looking for them afterwards. But I have some lovely hedgehogs, some Giroles. So the key with mushrooms is, mushrooms are like a sponge. So you need to clean them. I never ever wash mushrooms with, um, in water, or if I am gonna do them, if they're really bad, I would wash them and try dry them out. But I'm just gonna clean a few mushrooms here now, these beautiful <laughs> wild chanterelles. Um, so just taking some of the stalk off. And at the end, I'll keep going with, with what I have and just get a selection. I have some lovely hedgehog mushrooms that I'm just gonna take some of these off. We, uh, we just clean them and then I'm just gonna wipe them with either a damp cloth or just some paper. Um, and, um, and that's it. You're, there's no need to wash them because they're so porous and like I said, they're like a sponge. So we're just gonna tear these up roughly so till I have enough of a selection to uh, finish the dish. I have my toast going now, so I'm just gonna turn this off. Drop my lovely um, rye toast from Kilmallock. I'm gonna use the same pan. I'm all about cutting out the washing up, you know. Um, so some oyster mushrooms from Mark and Lucy in Ballyhora. So I'm just gonna cut these up into chunks. We're very, very lucky around here and around Limerick. Um, if I lived closer to the city, I'd be in this milk market every day, every, every Saturday morning. But we have some fantastic producers. We've all, like the restaurants and like the industry, we've all had a, a tough year and a half, but everybody seems to be bouncing back. So. With the hedgehog mushrooms, which are, as I said, are foraged, you have these little type furry gills here. And I just want to clean them off, give them a tap. 
I've already um, brushed these mushrooms already. Like I said, you guys, if you're doing them at home or you're doing it whatever, you use a damp cloth and, and wipe them. But I used a pastry brush on these and I brushed them clean before I, before I came here today. Um, some of the other stuff I'm going to use is some lovely um, Croom free, free range eggs. I have Sean Duggan in Croom. He actually does fantastic honey as well. So you'll see, you actually see him in some of the supermarkets. I don't think he's here in the actual market. So what I've done with that, and I've been very chefy, um, I've actually cooked it sous vide at 73 degrees for 13 minutes, and I'm just gonna rewarm it. So I'm not putting any sauce with these mushrooms. I'm just going to um, use the runny yolk of the egg as, uh, to sauce it at the end. So you see all those trimmings as well that I had with these mushrooms and all the little bits. Turn your oven down low to about 70, 80 degrees. Put all your trimmings in there, throw them into a blender. And this is fantastic seasoning for soups or any meat or pork or anything like that, any of those types of dishes. So it makes fantastic seasoning and, and finishing the dishes. So I'm gonna use some of them too. So I'm just gonna, like I said, save on the washing up. So get a nice, get our pan nice and hot. So what I'm gonna do, I know I'm doing two dishes, but I'm gonna drop four eggs because I'm guaranteed once I'm recording this that one or two of them will not work out. So I'm covering, covering myself here. So I have our toast ready, our mushrooms going. I have another few um, herbs and things like that that I'm gonna use. This is such a simple dish, such a tasty dish, and makes a lovely starter. <laughs> and like I said earlier, you've got some great produce in Limerick. If you wanted, you could actually um, throw some bacon in here. I'm not gonna go, because I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it as, as simple as it is, but a few, few bits of smoked bacon or something like that. So. I'm gonna start off with a little bit of our garlic, roasted garlic butter. And like I said, I really whipped that up in a mixer in, with, with the, with the uh, whip attachment. Mixed it up and uh, got it nice and foamy. So I'm just gonna add our mushrooms. I probably would like a little bit more heat in this, but that's okay, it's not the end of the world. I'm gonna season it with fresh sea salt. Little bit of pepper. I have some fresh thyme here that I'm just gonna pick the leaves off of. This is from my garden at home, so it is limerick. So, I'm gonna just take the leaves. No stalk, no stem. Losing some there, but that's okay. When I'm cooking, I use a lot of butter. You can tell, and I eat a lot of butter. But we want to get that roasted garlic. If you didn't want to, if you didn't have the garlic butter like I have, the the roasted garlic. Just chop up a few cloves of garlic, get it in there with your, with your mushrooms at the start. So crank up the heat a bit on our mushrooms. Again, back to our thyme. <coughs> and I gotta, this, as I said, this is so simple. But um, while, while we're waiting on this, I don't know, do the guys want me to plug any other things that are going on in the food series or any other events? But there's, I think the infamous Tom Flavin is here next week for his um, demo. 
So you can see there now, okay, look at this. You can see our butter melting, foaming up. Mushrooms getting nicely cooked. I think I'll in with another little bit of sea salt. I just want to taste it. Yeah, a little bit more pepper. What you could do, and when you're cooking off site, as anybody will tell you, all those chefs always forget something, but a nice squeeze of lemon juice in there. So, like I said, thyme, no, st no stock. I have a little bit of thyme already in my herb butter, but I'm just gonna add that to it now. And that is it, that is our mushrooms cooked. I'm not gonna cook them anymore. I'm just gonna turn the heat off. I've added a few scallions. Then I'm just gonna add them to it, okay? No more than that. I'm gonna give it a little dusting of my mushroom powder. Like I said, this is perfect for any kind of seasoning or enhancing. So now, what was already really mushroomy is going to be even more mushroomy. So, you can see our fresh herbs, our scallions, everything in there. Now, this is the tricky part, and you could probably, thank God this is not live TV, because I don't know if these eggs are going to work out or not. But, um, we'll keep going. I just have a few chopped chives in there as well. So, we'll take out our eggs, tidy up it, Tidy up a wee bit. A clean kitchen is a happy kitchen. Then I'm gonna take out our eggs that I've dropped for a few minutes. Like I said, I've already pre-cooked these. You don't have to do that. You don't have to do them like I've done them, but I, when you see when, the way they come out, you, you, you'll understand. So take out our eggs. You can actually just do a nice soft poached egg on this if you wanted. So, we'll take out our eggs. I'm gonna reuse this because I'll need to crack the eggs into something. So, just a bit of paper in there. Just to wipe it out. So now it's really up to plating time, so. We have all our Limerick produce and I'm gonna finish it off with some beautiful microgreens from Adair, Adair Microgreens, Brian, um, does a, a lovely little produce and I've got a few more bits of herbs and stuff like that that we'll, we'll finish off with. So onto our plate with our toast. As I said, I did this as a starter, but it'd actually make a lovely, lovely lunch snack if you wanted to do a bigger portion uh, for lunch. Now, should I, should I do this live on camera? I don't know, but we'll give it a go anyway. There you go, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. You'll see it when we finish plating up and I'm gonna do a second one and I'll finish it with some nice seasoning. You can see there now, I've cooked it in the shell Lovely. So we're going to get a lovely, soft, runny egg that's going to act as our sauce for, for, for our dish. I, sometimes you would see this dish done and people would add cream uh, and things like that to the, to the mushrooms. Because I, like I said, I whipped up the butter and it goes really, really creamy and really light and fluffy. So there is no need whatsoever for, for any, any cream in this dish. So in with our selection of um, Limerick mush mushrooms. Onto our toast. That smells, if you had smell of vision guys, that smells amazing, if I do say so myself. So what I'm doing when I'm plating here, I'm just putting the mushrooms on top, but I wanna create a nice little well in the center so our egg can sit on top of it. So just push it out a little bit like that. There we go, <coughs> excuse me. I'm gonna finish our egg with a little bit of salt. 
a twist of pepper. And then into the center of our dish with both our eggs and try not to crack them like I just did. I'll do another one. See, I told you, that's why I do two of these things. So, that's why I did extra, so no problem. We'll be okay. Yeah, that one worked out even better than the last one, so it's probably a good job it did crack. Again, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Our egg in the center. Gonna finish it with another little bit of mushroom powder, just to intensify the seasoning. Then I have some of Brian's Adair Micro nasturtium leaves. I'm not, I'm not going using tweezers or anything like that, lads. I'm not into that, okay? So none of these tweezery stuff. Just use your hands. These are my tweezers. A few leaves of fresh garden parsley. Like that, a few chives. And a little drizzle of chive oil made with our garden chives just to finish it off. And there guys is my pig town dish that I don't think I could quite possibly get as much limerick produce onto one plate. So I have to show you this. So look at this. Look at that. Eggs, mushroom, toast. That's not even a lunch, that's a breakfast. Thank you for joining us. And thank you especially to our chefs for taking part in this chef demo series at the Limerick Milk Market. Our sponsors, I have to say a big thank you to because we couldn't do this without you. And we hope you enjoyed it. Look for the other videos on our YouTube channel. Follow us on our other social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and please check out pigtown.ie where you'll find out all about Limerick Food Group, Pigtown, and everything else that we do. Thanks.